Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode of Coffee with RD Supplies. I'm Heath from Marketing at RD Supplies, Aero Products. Today we're going to be looking at a brand new printer that HRD is launching into the market. Uh, probably not this year, things with COVID and you know, but let's go and have a look. Okay, so what we have here is Fargo's brand new printer, Fargo Ink 1000. As its name suggests, it doesn't use ribbon like most card printers. It actually uses ink. Cuts down on the cost per print, depending on what you're printing. Uh, and it also cuts down on environmental wastage. So it uses all the ink instead of like on a ribbon, or you might use maybe a portion of it to print a photo. It'll waste the rest of those panels on that ribbon. The good thing about this machine that I've, I've found out so far is it doesn't have anything that flips up or swings out. So basically you can slide it on your desk and these things can hang over the edge, it's fine. So when you shut them, it's all done. So let's put the ribbon in. I mean, not the ribbon, the ink. Now this is not the first ink printer that's ever been on the market. Now, probably about 15 years ago they had an inkjet printer but the technology has come a long way from what I can tell. So that's basically it with the ink. It's all loaded. Let me just throw our cards in. Remember, this is my last video. Hold them on the side. And that's basically it. Like, we're ready to print. Got it all installed. Ink's in. Now this is only single-sided printer. Uh, it doesn't have mag magnetic encoding. So this is probably on the same point with the C50, uh, but it does have contactless encoding module that you can get for it, which is you know pretty cool if you're a security integrator, you know, and you're printing yourself adhesive cards onto access cards. Now there are two different types of settings for this printer, so you can print fast or you can print for quality. Uh, so I'm going to start off with doing the fast print. Uh, I'm going to do two cards because I think it's a bit unfair to send a print job to the printer for one job because they usually have to warm up. So I'm going to send two copies, just full transparency. And what's cool is because it's all transparent, you can actually see the card printing. There we go, and it's all dry. So they're, they're the, um, that's on the fast print setting. So now I'm gonna switch it up. And I'm gonna change the setting to premium. So what this will do is it'll print um, a little bit deeper colors, but it'll take a little bit slower to actually print the card. I'm gonna do test print. So as you can see, it takes a little bit longer, the premium print. But this second one should be a little bit quicker. What I think is probably the coolest feature of this printer, is that if you zoom in, you'll see it's full edge to edge no little white borders, there's nothing. You get the same sort of finish that you would do on a high definition card. 
Now it's a little bit different to your normal card printer. Uh, normal card printer has got an uh, overlay, so it's all glossy. This has actually got like a bit of a matte finish. I actually quite like it. So that's those two. Uh, so I'll put them two side by side. So this is the fast print, and this one's the premium print. So you probably see depth of color. Yeah, the photos look fairly similar. So it just depends on your type of your card design to what setting you put. So obviously fast we use less ink, and the premium we use more ink. So again just depends now because it's ink and it's not ribbon so the ribbons you know they come with the standard this is how many prints you get you don't really get that with the ink so you know you could get 250 you could get 500 you get a thousand just depends how much you're actually printing it on the card now I think businesses that are doing membership cards that are just printing photo phenomenal I think um, but even entry-level you know entry level like small businesses that want to print like induction cards or things like that that are single sided also great too and again like we say with the C50 if you want to print double sided stick it back back through print the back of the card in like a batch of 50 if it's all the same design so yeah so that's the Ink 1000 now let me show you some of the cool things so, unlike other card printers, they all have them at the back. This one actually has them underneath, and you can actually stick the power pack right underneath. Now, I did talk to Carl, our printer technician, about servicing them. He thinks they're, they're gonna be great. There's not really much to service on them. They don't have a print head, so if that busts after you know, three years, four years, that's not a $900 expense. There's really not much to service in there. It's all cleaning. So as long as you're good at cleaning your card printer, I think uh, it's a winner. Drawbacks for me is obviously lack of magnetic encoding. I think some clubs could benefit from this card printer. So we're pushing HID right now to get a magnetic encoder into it. Uh, I don't think that'll be ready for launch but hopefully sometime in 2021 pricing and availability we just don't know yet uh, we don't know the pricing on the, the printer or the ink we understand it's going to be around the c50 price point uh the ink's a little bit different it's a cool cool new little printer i think it's a little bit different to what fargo usually puts out and i'm quite happy with it all right guys well that's it for me and the ink 1000 now i'm going to get this Back off to HRD, it's only on loan. Um, stay tuned for it, 2021. Uh, we'll let you know more as we know more. Yeah.